all right so welcome back and welcome to those who are new to my channel if you've watched my last video if you have not check it out it is the bucket hat with the glory allen pattern so i'm actually going to continue my fall winter hat series with this quilted velour that i'm really loving and create a beret today so all you're going to pretty much need for this is of course the quilted velour fabric the handy rotary cutter scissors for paper clips and then any lining fabric i actually definitely need lining for this one because as you can see this fabric kind of has this material on the inside and i can't necessarily let that show so probably looking for have some satin some spare satin around here so i'll probably use that to line the inside of the beret all right so what i did was i created a const or measured the circumference of my head again same way i did with the bucket hat and then i took the diameter from that truthfully i went to the kitchen and looked at you know what was round and you know match that diameter and kind of like created my perfect circle from there so to make it a little bit easier but again i still had to do the math you know the for the um the radius as far as this particular circle so you're you're creating two circles you can use the 12 inch diameter and then or um 11.5 to 12 inch diameter for those and then create your two circles and then this is going to be of course for the top of the beret this is what you're going to see when you're looking at a person basically or looking at someone face to face they'll see this portion of the beret and that's your two circles for your outer material your choice as to what kind you use again i'm using the velour then we have our two other circles same situation we're going to have that circle and then we have that lining or that outer area now this is just going to kind of go in this particular order so you'll have your outer layer with the wrong side facing up you'll have your satin or i'll have my satin here that's placed on top to protect the hair and then i'll have that circular layer of course that's going to be sewn onto there so basically all in all you'll have you know technically four layers luckily the satin's a little thin so it won't really you know hinder me as far as sewing on thick fabric and then lastly i will have my band now i, I get that you know a lot of people kind of leave it here so i'll kind of see how it looks you know once i sew everything on but i'm looking to kind of get more of that more of a tighter fit especially since my hair is not as thick so i don't want this to slide off because it is kind of a softer fabric so i do want to kind of have that band around um the circuit or this this circular area here to kind of hold the beret on so uh decide on that kind of towards the end but all in all you know you'll need four circles so i'm going to start with kind of getting the two circles or the two rounded areas connected so We'll go from outer to inner. All right, so firstly, of course, we always go, you know, wrong side, wrong side. So that is how this is gonna be sewn. So basically wrong side, wrong side, and we're gonna be sewing or creating the seam here. You know, you can use more of a little less than three eighths of an inch for this seam and then sewing that together so that when you kind of bring everything back out it looks nice and neat and then i'm going to do the same thing for the satin and then of course you know with satin you, you just make sure the the right side because there is a right side and the wrong side of course for this too um, and then kind of doing the same thing making sure i actually did it wrong didn't I? all right yes there we go wrong side Alrighty, so we are going to get both of these sewn to each other and then getting everything connected in the other way as far as putting the strap on this portion and then we're going to stitch everything together. So let's get these two sewn together. And again, using my magnetic seam guide just because satin as well as the other fabric is pretty slippery. So just to make sure I have like a nice neat seam here so again 
control the bunching. Very easy to do with satins to get this all nice and neat. All right, so because I have everything stitched here for these, the outer and the inner layer, I'm actually gonna move to the, the, the band, the headband basically part. So I need to kind of stabilize it or flatten it a bit by stitching, you know, so that once I place it on the outer area of the beret, you know, I don't have to kind of fight to get it pinned down and, and, and sewn all the way around. So I'm gonna fold this in half here and then clip it together and then stitch along here to kind of get that nice flat look and then making sure that everything fits correctly. Okay, so we have our three layers now, or three pieces, and we're gonna go ahead and connect all of them with one stitch. So we are going to have our outer layer with the right side facing inward, wrong side facing outward, but then our inner layer with the right side facing outward. And then we're going to actually place the outer layer on the inside of the inner layer. So basically we are putting all of this together here and then we're gonna pretty much do like one flip out method where you'll pretty much see the entire thing finished. So basically let's put this, let's clip this together. And then we have our band with the stitch side facing up. And then that is gonna get placed inside of the hole as well. And then we're gonna play, we're gonna clip the band stitch side up to the outer layer, wrong side facing out, and then the inner layer, right side facing out, okay? So then when everything gets put together, you'll kind of do a, a flip to do, you know, and then you'll see, you know, basically the hat or the beret, you know, nice and seamless, one rounded seam there. So be right back, let's get this all stitched together. Okay, so now this is thick fabric for me anyway. And then luckily that denim or heavy duty needle is still in the Singer machine. So just basically going slow and being careful, you know, when you are not to break the needle or mess up stitching when you're actually stitching around, you can kind of play and, you know, lightly put everything on the outside so you can kind of see the finished product for yourself. Cause it, you know, it, it can get confusing or it could be, you know, where you're like, oh, is it this outside or this inside outside? So you kind of see how, how that's gonna work, you know, like even with the band on there and you'll have that nice and cute, complete beret. So um, back carefully, turning this back out where it's supposed to be. And let's go over to the singer and actually seam everything together. All righty, so we're all done. We have our beautiful finished product. As you can see, like I said, you know, the band kind of helps things a bit more, be more, a little more secure in case if it's a windy day. Um, definitely a great item to add to my fall collection. Again, might do a cabbie hat or kind of continue things along. But of course, you know, beanie season is upon us as well. So yeah, first beret, fourth project. Can't wait for the next one. Thanks for watching.